Here we're going to solve this equation. We're going to do so by factoring. And I notice that there's an x of the fourth term here, so this is at least going to be a quartic equation. Uh, but my guess is that uh, either we're going to have a greatest common factor or it will factor nice like a quadratic. So let's go ahead and distribute here and see what all we have. So right here I'll have a negative x to the fourth plus 2x squared and that will equal my 2x to the fourth plus 5x cubed minus 10x squared. So I notice my terms I have a degree 4, degree 3, and degree 2 and I want to put them on the side where my leading coefficient will be positive and it looks like that'll be the right side. So I'm going to take these two terms and I'm going to push them over to the right side of the equation and I'm going to put a 0 on the left side. So now I have a 3x to the fourth plus 5x cubed and then it looks like it's going to be a negative 12x squared. Okay, so the first thing I look for is a greatest common factor, which it looks like that's where my x squared is going to come out, and I'm going to be left with 3x squared plus 5x minus 12, which, yes, this uh, does leave us with a quadratic. So my leading coefficient is not 1, so I'm going to go ahead and do the AC method, where 3 times negative 12 is negative 36. So let's look for factors of 36 you know, negative 36, that will add up to positive 5. And it looks like it'll be my 4 and my 9, where the larger one will be positive. So that'll be positive, that'll be negative. So let's go ahead and rewrite this, and I'm going to take that linear term and break him up into these two terms with my 9x and my minus 4x. So the other terms are going to come along for the ride. So I'm going to do factor by grouping now. So I can pull out, looks like a 3x here, and I'm left with x plus 3. And it looks like I can pull out a minus 4 here, and it's going to leave me with an x plus 3. So my leftovers are the same. So I have an x plus 3, a 3x minus 4, and then this x squared that I pulled out as the greatest common factor at the beginning. So I have three factors all right here. So the zero property of multiplication tells us that we need to take each one of these factors and set it equal to zero. So x squared equals zero, x plus three equals zero, and three x minus four equals zero. So this will yield a zero, this guy will yield a negative three, and this guy will yield a positive four thirds. So my solutions to this equation are zero, negative three, and four-thirds. And uh, that, it, those are the solutions for this original equation that looked like a quartic equation.